What's going on, everybody? Hope you're all having a fantastic day today. Now, yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a long time since I went ahead and got some Battlefield 2042 content out for you guys on this channel. For those who don't know, my channel actually, you know, I post a lot of Battlefield back in, what, like when Battlefield 2042 first dropped. And I always have posted a lot of Battlefield content on this channel. I always mixed between Call of Duty and Battlefield, but obviously in the recent months and I guess maybe even a year plus, I've been just hyper-focusing on Call of Duty because Battlefield has really let me down as a franchise. And I don't want to say Battlefield 2042 is a bad game because really, honestly, this is probably the most casual FPS game that you can get your hands on. You know, A lot of Call of Duty fans have been struggling to find a casual experience, and I've been saying time and time and time again that 2042 is the way to go if you want to casually play an FPS. But I have to be realistic with you guys when it comes to Season 7. I have to keep it real. I am pretty much disappointed. And I don't think you guys are really shocked by, you know, what I'm about to say here. But it's the truth. You know, Battlefield 2042 is at a point where I feel like they're just trying to get people to hang on for as long as possible. Do you get what I'm saying here? It's kind of like how with, you know, the Reloaded Seasons in Call of Duty. Where they put just enough content to keep you trickling back until they can finally get a brand new season out. Well, Battlefield 2042, it's not really until a new season drops. I feel like they're just trickling out content until a brand new game goes ahead and drops. It's just not that much here to keep me interested or even keep me playing the game. You know, just like with Call of Duty, I see myself maybe a week tops, you know, giving this season a try and grinding it through. Now, I'll be honest, though. You know, the brand new map that you see here, I, I believe it's called Haven. It's pretty fun. I enjoyed the layout. I feel like it's going to get a bit toxic once people actually understand where they you know, need to go and good camping spots and stuff of that sort. But overall, I do find myself easily able to, you know, go ahead and navigate this map, flank and find good positions. You know, McKay is extremely fun on this map because you can just grapple on top of any building and flank people 24-7. It's actually enjoyable. But... <sighs> That is it, ladies and gentlemen. This is the only thing to really look forward to. And, of course, they brought in, you know, the Hourglass remake, that BS, where it's the stadium, which is, you know, it's still something. But, I mean, that should be her day one. Am I right or am I wrong? I, I might be thinking a little too far out here. And, of course, correct me down in the comment section. But Battlefield 2042 is on basically life support, if you ask me. I feel like over half of the community has left. If you look up content for Battlefield 2042, there's, like, maybe a handful of content creators still discussing this game. And I give props to those content creators, seriously, to be able to consistently discuss Battlefield 2042 for the whole lifespan of this game with how little the developers have been putting out content. And, honestly, the communication has dropped off as well. I remember in the beginning of this game, they were doing, like, little dev talks and stuff like that. I don't even think I see that stuff anymore. Again, correct me if I'm wrong because I haven't been in the Battlefield scene for a hot minute now. But 2042 just seems like it's just dry. And, again, I give props to any creator out there who has pushed through this drought. But if you want my personal opinion, this isn't good enough. Of course, we get a handful of weapons in the battle pass, but everything else is going to be given out mid-season. You know, we have one map here and a game that is desperately needing some stuff to keep it fresh and unique and interesting and to keep people wanting to come back and talk about it and interact with this game. They gave us one thing to really look forward to with a handful of weapons as well in the battle pass. I mean, realistically, how long do you think this is going to last? And then the other map, like I said, that's coming in is just an hourglass rework, so it's not even like it's anything fresh. That's the, that's the name of the map, right? Hourglass? Isn't that the uh, the desert map? It's been so long. That's insane because I used to remember this, these maps like it was nothing because I hated those maps so much. But now I just can't even think of it because it's been so long since I touched a Battlefield game. Well, at least Battlefield 2042 that I can't remember. But, I mean, the next map is a rework. Why is that being postponed? I need someone to go down in the comment section and tell me this. Why is it being postponed? It's not a new map. It's not like it needs to be tested a thousand times. And even if it did need to be tested, they had how many months in between season six and season seven? Again, I give props to content creators who push through this drought. You know, at least with Call of Duty, even though we are being drip fed still and we're barely getting as much content as we want, at least we get stuff to do. At least every week there's a brand new aftermarket part or a camo to grind for or something being introduced. Battlefield, literally, there was nothing there was nothing to do between season six and season seven. They made these people wait for months. I have to give props to the content creators who pushed through that because that is extremely impressive. But back to the main point, you know, how are you going to say that these maps aren't tested enough to put them in? They have to be tested. The only thing that they're doing right now is drip feeding content. They are trying, like I said before, to make sure season seven lasts long enough, you know, that people can wait for the next game. And in order to do that, they have to drip feed this content. If they release both these maps at the launch, people are going to get tired of it and then not play the rest of the Season 7, right? But in reality, what they should be doing is adding in three maps. You know, a couple of new maps and the one remaster of Hourglass. Simple as that. Two maps at launch, 
one map mid-season. If, of course, one of them is a reworked map, okay? If it wasn't a reworked map, then, you know, I'm fine with two brand new maps, but it's not two brand new maps. And that's what DICE advertised it as. They advertised it as two brand new maps. A rework of Hourglass is not brand new. It's just, it's getting ridiculous. And again, I can acknowledge that the game is in a better state. It's fun to play. It's a casual shooter. But this is, like I said, it's ridiculous. Season after season after season, it took a year plus to go ahead and get this game into a normal spot with all the reworks. They had to rework every single base map in this game. Every single base map. And we're finally done reworking them, and they're still adding in more reworks. I'm done with that. I am done with the reworks. How many more reworks do you have to put into the game until you're finally finished? I gotta be honest with you guys. There's no possible way I can sit through that. I can't. I really genuinely can't. There's a reason I stopped playing Battlefield 2042 in the first place, and this season is going to continuously confirm why I'm not playing Battlefield 2042, because they don't care anymore. They don't care. I'm not talking about the developers. I'm talking about EA. This project is irrelevant. It flopped already, okay? It flopped. They're moving on to the next, and the way that they keep supporting this game proves to me that they're moving on to the next. And what's even worse is they messed with the aiming again. I, I can't believe this, but they added visual recoil to the weapons. I I don't understand dice. I don't understand whatsoever. In the very beginning of the game, you had to add bloom, right? You just had to add bloom. Bloom was the best feature ever. And then the community complained like no tomorrow until you eventually found a middle ground again. Just like with Battlefield 5. Just, I don't, I don't know what's up with dice. With them needing to change things, core fundamentals of their game that nobody asks for. It's not like Modern Warfare 3, where the community's begging for more movement or they're begging for something else in the game, they change that. No, nobody requests this stuff. Nobody, nobody at all. Not a single soul, and they do it anyways. Battlefield 5, they completely overhauled the time to kill for no reason in the middle of the life cycle, forcing everybody to relearn the game. Forcing everybody to re-understand the time to kill percentages of each weapon. For no reason. Battlefield 2042, again, like I said earlier, they add in Bloom. For no reason. Completely changing up the gunplay. Do you know how drastically different the gunplay is with a game that has basically next to no Bloom and then adding in a ton of Bloom? Do you know how different the gunplay is? You have to relearn everything. Everything. And then after they do that, they add in Visual Recall now. Which... I've seen mixed emotions across the board from the community, but personally, in my opinion, I don't like it. I hate visual recoil with all my heart. I hate it. I hate bloom. I hate visual recoil. Just give me a recoil pattern that I can memorize that gives me a good skill gap because all this other nonsense isn't a skill gap. Adding randomness to gunfights is not a skill gap, but DICE is obsessed with this stuff. Why? I feel so bad for ranting like this because... The last time I talked about Battlefield 2042, I left off on a pretty good note. But uh, seriously, just this game is done. It's, it's practically done in my personal opinion after seeing how they're handling it. And I'll be real with you guys. The reason I haven't even bothered making content for this game is just I, 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 I can't be forced to care. I just simply can't. I gave it my all. I tried to play it as much as I could. But in all reality, I just need something that's more like Battlefield. And I'm waiting for the next game. And I'm not saying I'm getting my expectations or my hopes up for the next game. Not at all. But I'm waiting for the next game. That's just how it is right now. You know? Everything that happens in 2042 is irrelevant to me. Because I just don't feel the passion from the developers whatsoever. And it's not enough passion to bring me back into the project. Not enough. The only thing that could really get me back into Battlefield is to see that we have a brand new game that actually feels like Battlefield. But at this current point, what else can they do? You know what I'm saying? They're trying to add back core features. Because let's be honest, Battlefield 4 had visual recall and stuff like that, right? So I can see what they're doing here. I can see that they're trying to make it more like OG Battlefield, but it's too late. Your game is already made. You already have a foundation. There's only so much stuff you can do to it before you bust it and make it feel like it's random. This game has no... What's the word? It just has no personality. It's nothing, it's, a, it's nobody because it can't pick what it wants to be. Personally, Battlefield 2042 just feels like a, a Frankenstein game. You know, a Battlefield game that of course a bunch of newcomers came in and made this game, obviously as we all know, a lot of the OG devs have bounced and they're just, they're just throwing darts. They put on a blindfold and they're chucking darts. 
at the dartboard, right? That's all I get out of Battlefield 2042. One after the other, after the other, after the other. They're just throwing ideas, testing stuff, like this is a test dummy game. And then I guess all the focus is going on to the next title. But if the next title doesn't live up to expectations, the Battlefield franchise is done. I mean, I say this all the time about COD, but COD still has a core identity that people are obsessed with and it's not much competition. Battlefield, on the other hand, it's done. It's over. I, I can't tell you how over it's actually going to be because it, they can't go any more downwards compared to 2042. And if they manage, if they somehow manage to make it worse than 2042, there's no redemption, right? And I mean, honestly, Dice, at this point, keep chucking the darts at the dartboard with the blindfold on. Test out ideas. Mess around with it. If, this wants to be, if you want this to be a Frankenstein, me personally, I don't enjoy that. And it's a reason why I probably won't stick around that much. I'll play it every so often, obviously, because I do want to start making more content. I know a lot of Battlefield fans are still on this channel, and then you guys DM me all the time and ask me to make, you know, Battlefield videos. I feel horrible because I really did just straight up stop cold turkey, stop making Battlefield content. But it's a reason why, man, they don't support the game enough. You know, Call of Duty, like I said, even though there's so much crap going on and there's a lot of nonsense and we're going through a lot of, you know, stuff here as a community, at least there's something to discuss. <laughs> Battlefield, like I, again, I'm impressed with all the content creators out there who pushed through with the cycle. But I mean, yeah, that, that's my opinion on season seven, ladies and gentlemen. Also, I, I do want to mention this as well. One of my homies uh, told me because, you know, he's a dead behind the scenes, not for Battlefield, but he told me that, you know, sometimes when stuff like this happens, they're testing out for the future game. So that might be why they messed around with the visual recoil, because they might be testing out features for the next game. But again, they they already made Battlefield 2042, right? Like, I understand that they might be testing out for the future game, but man, for the core game, the, the current game right here, it's just making it feel like a Frankenstein title, and I, I just, I can't figure out the identity, and it just, it, it, oof, it, it kills me the more and more I try to understand, the, the more and more they change it, so it's just... It's whatever at that point. But of course, ladies and gentlemen, go down in the comment section, leave your opinions down below. What do you guys think of season seven? Do you think it's good? Do you think it's bad? Also, of course, if you enjoyed today's video, leave a like. If you hate it, leave a dislike. Also, subscribe and hit that bell. We post daily here at eight in the morning Eastern time. And I am going to be trying to branch out and talk about more FPS games on the occasion, especially when X Defiant drops. So, you know, like I said, hit the bell so you can stay notified. And last but not least, if you are interested in any of my live streams, I do that over on Kick pretty much daily. You can find a link to that channel down in the description of this video. And also that stream goes live around one to 2 p.m. Eastern time. As always, thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll see you all on the next one. Peace out.